class of 2018 Master of Divinity graduates. These years at the School of Divinity have offered you memorable and challenging opportunities to reflect on your vibrant thread as a religious leader and to tap into your gifts of intellectual and practical imagination. Together as a cohort, you have been empowered by the Spirit to create, innovate, and improvise as you weave together various combinations of your unique strands to do ministry in a broken and fast-changing world. As you prepare to leave this formative space, we invite you to listen to one another as you reflect upon your experiences of enacting justice, reconciliation, and compassion. Wisdom cultivated in classes, internships, communal gatherings, and conversations have helped you develop your own hue of vibrant thread. Together as graduates, your threads now weave together in a new tapestry of hope for the future. During my time at Wake Divinity, I have been reminded that for better or for worse, we bring ourselves to ministry. And whereas I used to think that my unique personhood was something to hide or suppress, I have experienced time and time again that it is so important for each of us to bring our authentic selves, our own unique, vibrant thread to ministry. God has equipped each of us with unique identities, gifts, and passions for the work of justice, reconciliation, and compassion. So being at Wake has given me a very broad vision for ministry. I feel God is calling me to remind people they don't need more when there are those with less. And I also feel God is calling me to remind people that they need not look far for happiness because God's put it in the sunrise, in good jokes, in tasty foods, and in each and every one of us. By being exposed to a diverse and detailed curriculum, various approaches to practicing ministry, as well as a supportive community while attending Wake Forest School of Divinity. I'm hoping to be a vibrant thread no matter where God sends me. Uh, as of right now, I'm hoping to use everything I learned and apply it to urban ministerial and chaplaincy work within the city of Atlanta. Wake Div has allowed me to be myself just as I am, and yet helped me to imagine the woman and minister that I can become. As a vibrant thread, I will weave my way into this world with a commitment to being myself, inviting others to be authentic and vulnerable, and a passion for having some hard conversations that challenge all of us to be more faithful to who God calls us to be. And I will also laugh a lot along the way. Forest University Divinity School has shown me that threads between all of us are found in tradition and experience and compassion for one another uh, in times of good and in times of bad. And when I get out to the world, I hope to be able to help people understand how their own history and tradition and experience uh, understand one another uh, in the world we live in. I say the School of Divinity taught me to be a vibrant thread through the experience. I said something about the academic stuff easy to learn, but the uh, experience it's hard to learn. So the School of Divinity taught me to be a uh, vibrant thread through experiences. Wake Div has provided me with the ability to hold both the positive and negative aspects of life and ministry in tension with one another in order to cultivate a better sense of who I am as a minister.
My time here at Wake Div has taught me that I'm not just a single vibrant thread, but a collection of them. I've had the space here to reclaim threads that I thought that I'd let go of with my writing and my energy work, but I've also had the opportunity to find and cultivate threads that I didn't know that I had, having fun with scripture and exegesis, as well as with preaching. So spending time here at Wake Div has allowed me to become not only multi-hued, but more connected. My time at Wake Forest University's School of Divinity has prepared me for the world in that it's helped me to lay down those things which are not mine to hold so that I can make space to hold other people's stories and help them find who they are. I believe my time here at Wake Forest has prepared me to be a vibrant thread in the world and in uh, our communities at large um, by experiencing and seeing God as other people experience and see God, uh, listening and hearing my classmates and hearing the background of those who have been around me has allowed me to open my point of view and my perspective on who God is and what God can do for others. And because of that, now I believe that my preaching and my teaching and my interaction with others will be better because I can experience God in a wide range of, of views and perspectives. The words from this Shaker hymn have given me inspiration over the last three years as a reminder to be my most authentic self. Tis the gift to be loved and that love to return. Tis the gift to be taught and a richer gift to learn. And when we expect of others what we try to live each day, then we'll all live together and we'll all learn to say. Tis the gift to have friends and a true friend to be. Tis the gift to think of others and not only to think of me. And when we hear what others really think and really feel, then we'll all live together with the love that is real. Like any tapestry, a single thread cannot create the entire fabric display alone. It must be combined with other threads, threads of different colors and lengths. Here at Wake, we are all definitely different threads, which has been challenging at times, but beautiful all the time. I've had the privilege of engaging peers whose beliefs and thoughts drastically differ from my own, but I've also been benefited all the more from these interactions because it has allowed me to practice understanding and compassion in a safe space before stepping into the world and engaging people there. Wherever my next steps take me, I know that I will enter that space with more patience and understanding because of my experience at Wake Divinity. So I think for me, being a vibrant third in this community, what I've learned is that um, all the beautiful things that I came here with, right? Um, most of those things have been deconstructed in their own ways, but the beautiful thing is I'm connected to a tapestry or a tapestry that is much larger than I am. And I have learned what justice looks like and what compassion looks like, and also how to reconcile some things that were hard for me. And so I think leaving this space, I will know how to navigate that. And so I'm thankful for that experience. Wake Div has been a unique place uh, for my journey, teaching me that just because someone doesn't look like you, doesn't think like you, didn't grow up like you, they're still able to be cared for, compassionate. Everybody doesn't come from the same background as you. And being a vibrant thread in the world is going to allow me to partner with those people that don't look like me, don't necessarily believe like I do, but still deserve the human rights that everybody deserves. My time at Wake Div has prepared me to live in the world just as I am. Uh, being a full member in this wonderful experience that we call humanity. Um, for me, being a vibrant thread woven into the tapestry of human experience means listening to others, learning from our shared wisdom, and helping to create a world where everyone can experience the richness and fullness of creation. So Wake Div has prepared me to be a vibrant thread in the world um, based upon the courses I've taken, my internship, and realizing that race and reconciliation is actually a lot bigger than what I thought it was coming in. Um, coming from an HBCU, having culture, having a family background, um, and then coming to a PWI, it it has opened my eyes to the differences of what my world had been and what the real world is. Um, so coming into ministry or going into ministry from, uh, from Wake Div as a vibrant thread, I honestly believe that I can 
put forth um, methods of social justice um, and authentic worship um, in regards to um, being one that's not a part of a denomination. Um, just being able to love people uh, no matter who they are or where they come from for them to be able to experience the love of Jesus Christ. Before coming to Wake Divinity, I wasn't very confident in my own voice and identity as a minister. But three years later, I have gained a better sense of my own ministerial authority and discovered my own unique voice as a female minister. As a Wake Divinity graduate, I am now proudly a candidate for ordained ministry in the ELCA, and I am so excited about the call that God has placed on my life. I'll forever be grateful for this place and its people. So I think uh, some of the most amazing times I've had here um, have been actually outside of the classroom with professors and with um, fellow students in coffee shops. And I do love a good cup of coffee. Um, and then as far as what I hope to bring into the world after, um, I once heard someone say something about subversive joy and uh, the place of subversive joy in faith communities. So I really hope to bring that into the world. So one of the most um, impactful moments of my journey here at Wake Divinity was engaging um, the Div School community around uh, a need for people on our campus. When the Angel Fund was instituted and uh, the work that we did to help people um, who were at a disadvantage right here on our campus to employ Pro Humanitate. Um, in doing that work, it, it really meant a lot to me and I'll never forget that opportunity. Being at Wake Div has steeped me in an incredible diversity of faith traditions and practices. Having been here for three years now, I've learned a lot about interacting respectfully with theologies different from my own while being true to my own faith. My vibrant thread has been enhanced by my peers, and I'm now ready and excited to find a space in a nonprofit to pursue justice, reconciliation, and compassion. Wake Div has taught me how to really be with someone in their grief and how to be truly present. Those are skills that I am incredibly grateful for and I will use in my counseling profession. I don't know that I would have gotten that training anywhere else, so I'm grateful to Wake Forest Divinity for that opportunity. So what Wake Forest did for me as in ministry, uh, they taught me biblical history, but not only biblical history, they taught me uh, how to fight for justice and therefore uh, my ministry has been changed for the better and I plan on as a pastor to bring a uniqueness in fighting for justice for my church, community, and our country. My time at Wake Divinity has helped me understand the importance of social justice and how I uh, should participate in social justice as a Christian. And that has helped me to understand um, my purpose is more than just developing my personal relationship with God and seeking and saving the lost, but also to make the world a better place through social, social justice and reconciliation. So something I, important that I learned throughout my time here was really thinking about the Trinity and what it meant for the God that I believed in to be this three-in-one unit and how that essential relationality to God is the image that we are made in. And so what that means is that if God is a triune God and God is inherently relational, that as the image of God, as the Imago Dei, we as people are bound to be relational with one another. And that's a central part of who we are. And that's what ministry needs to look like. And that's what care in the world needs to look like. Vibrancy means to be full of life and energy. I've always had a lot of life and energy, but coming to Wake Forest has helped center and impassion this energy to do God's work in the world. I understand through Wake what it means to truly be in community and a diverse community and to work to serve the common good. I'm excited about going forward to live my life working for justice and reconciliation and to do so with, with a compassion that comes from this vibrancy. And for that, I'm very thankful.